We are in Lamy Bay in Suva and we are leaving this morning. We are heading towards Kandavu. I think we'll probably stop a little bit north of Kandavu. We'll probably go to Ono Island. We're just uh, getting ready. Oil is checked. Just getting ready to leave. I'm um, hoping we're going to get some wind. There's about 15 knots forecast at the moment. We've got three. But in fairness, we're in protection of the land. Looks like we might get some rain. Nothing else. The captain is at the front of the boat doing Just tidying up. something with water catchers. And it's cold, hence the fact I've got long trousers and my jacket on. It's quite fresh. And it's grey, look at it. Yeah. Onto the sun. He hasn't got his hat on today. forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to be notified of future episodes. What's a Karen Jay? This asshole here, um, Asian fishing feet, can I just say, got AIS, got no radio, not responding, um, call regs, obviously chucked them in the sea the day that they bought the boat. We're sailing, we've had to actually come onto the wind and therefore nearly stall the boat because he's decided just to cut across the front of us. Asian fishing fleet, come in to feed you, help yourself to the fish and then just create havoc in the waters while you're here as well. And don't answer your radio. I'm done, ranting now. Can you tell me possibly, from the bounciness of the seas, explain to the viewers what direction we're sailing in? We are having a bash. <laughs> Rock on. That's why we... Uh... The technical term is upwind. Yes, that's why we haven't done it in a while. We don't like sailing upwind, but do it's we? it's okay. The, the thatch is fairly low. At the Fortunately, moment. yeah. But Fortunately, the seas are probably less than a metre. <laughs> but... Uh... That's why you need a steady cam. You know you're going upwind when you have to have the clampons on the kettle. Never yeah, mind, it's for sailing. It's good. Yes, it's not as quiet or as lovely as when we're going uh, downwind. Never mind, should be there by early afternoon. and quiet of your own private island. Our own private generator. We are making water, in <laughs> fairness. We've just got a Yakalufa Lila, something uh, like that. I don't know, it's a long name. And the water is so, we're in 10 metres of water, we can actually see the anchor. It's just there. We've pushed over the top of it at the moment. It's the oh, actually, no, it's just underneath us. Rob apparently is oh. going in for a swim to see if he can see it, but you could have just looked from the surface, really. After a beautiful, peaceful evening, we had a bit of a lazy start the next morning before heading to the beach with Dave to clamber up the hill behind us to see what we could see from the top. Maybe flip-flops weren't the most sensible thing to be wearing. Well, that was an awesome climb, wasn't it? Yeah, we came up from the beach in our New Zealand health and safety footwear. Jandals. Pretty much. Or nice flip-flops. Lovely view. Great view of the reef. Caught up with the, the local goats. <laughs> That's 
so we forgot that you might call it before yeah. it <laughs> what you do in your own personal time is entirely up to you. Just, oh, it's hot though. Just looking down on DT, it looks lovely. Great Astrolab Reef in the distance. Lots of little bombies closer in. Absolutely stunning. We had a stunning sunset that evening. The question was, would there be a green flash or no green flash? Turns out, no green flash, but it was still beautiful. We are anchored off Yakuvi Lai Lai and have been for a couple of days, but it is time to move. Uh, the uh, swell has uh, been a, just enough to be annoying, so we're going to head south to uh, another anchorage that has manta, uh, manta rays. And uh, we have been <laughs> wanting to go for about an hour and a half, but we've just heard, before we left fortunately, we heard that they're filming Survivor uh, in this island group, and uh, they've asked us to stay away from the anchorage that we wanted to go to because they're filming on the beach and they don't want to see any masts or any people. So uh, we are gonna go down and see if we can get into that area now and just see how it goes. The survivor team had roped in a few locals to help. This guy met us halfway and gave us permission that all was clear. Filming had finished for the day. Open, it's open. It's open? Yeah. Vanaka. Have a nice day. Thank you. Here we are, anchor down at Vuraliva Island, and apparently on the point to the north of us, we might get to swim with some mantas. Mantas. Here we are. Manta snorkel. We hope so. <laughs> so we jumped into Dave and set off on a manta search, and we got lucky. We only saw one, but hey, one's better than none, right? Good morning. Good morning. Where are we headed? We're heading to Nabuwalu, which is on the west side of Ono. Um, there's a wind shift coming in that's going to be northerly. We were in this anchorage here at Nangara, um, but it's going to blow straight in there. Um, in fairness, it's going around the dial. It's going to come westerly as well, but we think it'll be quite soft when it comes to the west. So we're wind shift dodging today. We're just having a little jaunt around the corner, put the hook down and then see what this wind shift brings. Might stay around here, because apparently there's some good diving and snorkeling off a place called Alacrity Rocks, which is on this side, and it's meant to be a beautiful bay. So we might just tolerate a bit of a roll while the westerly comes through. Suck it and see, boat life. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, uh, constantly moving your home as the wind shifts. With the anchor safely down in beautiful Nabuwalu Bay, it was time to go ashore to the village and offer our Sevu Sevu. Unfortunately, we timed it with low tide. Fortunately, Dave's got wheels. Those of you that know me know I'm not good with bridges. <laughs> Especially ones that look like this. Where's the bridge into the village? Hopefully, it's safe. 
Once we'd handed over our Cebu Cebu, we were free to wander around the village. And it wasn't long before we bumped into Sammy, who offered to show us up towards the hot springs. This is Sammy from the village, and this is the hot water spring. And today he's got a bad back, and he's got bad shoulders. So it's like the village jacuzzi. Ah. And it's going to make him better. <laughs> You just need a beer and <laughs> some kava. Just to <laughs> see the one Japanese uh, yaki came in here. He said, "Oh, if you got this in Japan, we do one hotel here." Yeah, <laughs> that's very right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In Japan, we do one hotel. <laughs> On the way back down from the hot springs, we met Millie and her family. Not only did they give us a free pumpkin from the garden, but they also invited us along for Sunday lunch the next day. That's wonderful, Vinaka. That we love pumpkin. <laughs> and, oh, it's a good heavy one. Did you grow these? Uh, yeah. You grow. Okay, that's wonderful, Vinaka. Vinaka. So happy. It is Sunday. We went into the village yesterday and got invited to lunch today. So we have got uh, some biscuits that we've been cooking. Peanut cookies. And we're taking them in, and uh, yeah, it should be a, a nice meal. We hopefully. managed to avoid getting out of going to church, heathens that we are. Yes, we've avoided church. Yes, we're going in to see Millie I think and her family. Yes, Millie. Rob's going and with names. Millie and four kids, and the husband and mum. So we'll find out their names over the course of the meal. Yeah. And that red, well, well, that, that red dot means it's recording, okay? So what you can see, yeah, yeah, the it's body, recording, yeah. okay? So you're, okay, I'm going to go and check. I'm going to go and check. Can you see? Yeah. <laughs> and if you turn it around like this, you can film yourself. <laughs> so wave at the camera, everybody. Everyone going to be on film? There we are. Are they good cookies? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. They good? Mm. Hey, sweetie. They're mm. good. Now you're on film. Oh, us... my home too, yeah. You give us the tour of the village? Yeah. <laughs> nice cookies. Well, I'm on the school of just waving around filming. Ooh. So there could, there, there could be some quite interesting footage going on there. <laughs> We enjoyed an absolutely delicious lunch and spent the afternoon sitting around chatting with the extended family. Later in the day, Millie and the kids walked us back towards Dave. We'd had a really, really lovely day. The older kids in the village go to school in the next village, where they stay from Monday to Friday. So Sunday night means the boat leaves to take them all back again. Isaac, the village headman, was in charge of taking the kids round this week, and on the way back he dropped in for a drink and a chat. Just looking at predict when we've we've basically been on the boat for the last three days probably just sitting out some weather down at Ono Island nice and protected in here but it's gusting uh, 25 knots even with the shelter um, of the land here so um, there isn't really much to do here from uh, like getting off the boat and having a walk or we would like to do some diving and stuff but the conditions aren't really ideal either so we're, we've just had a boat meeting and we're going to cut our losses um, and head back to Suva um, where we can do a, a few more bits and pieces. Um, looking at later in the week and at this weekend, um, we've got uh, over over 30 knots that will be coming in as well. We'll, we'll just be stuck in a bay. 
doing what we've been Sitting doing. Sitting on the boat really, wouldn't yeah. we? Just if we go back to Sue where we can uh, get off going to town, maybe go to the museum. Yeah, there's a few things. So there's, there's a few more options. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to say, right, let's check out of this wind. That's basically what we're doing. It's 6am, um, we are about to uh, sort the sails out, pull up the anchor and head over to the mainland today. I was going to say the sun's just come up but the sun hasn't come up because it's uh, cloudy today and it looks like we've got a rain squall coming in. It's going to probably be a bit bouncy getting over to Suva, we're expecting, I don't know, about I think 25 knots today. Um, but we need to make a run for it, we've got a, as Rob said yesterday, we've got a big blow coming in this weekend there's a huge high pressure system sitting over New Zealand and the edge of those winds are going to get to Fiji I think Saturday Sunday Monday so we're going to get in excess of about 35 knots which is fine but it just means we would be stuck here sitting on anchor not doing much so we've decided to go back into Suva get a few bits and bobs sorted out and hopefully by the time uh, Richard and Kush come out on the 29th the wind might have abated a little bit and we might actually be able to get out and I don't know, enjoy some of these beautiful islands. It's been jolly windy lately. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget, give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment below. And for real time updates, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We'll see you next time.